Welcome to Chapter 13, Effective Teamwork. Most often, the best work teams are small because large numbers of people usually can't develop the cohesiveness, commitment, and mutual accountability that's needed for high performance. The members of effective teams possess three different types of skills, technical expertise, problem solving and decision making skills, and interpersonal skills. While no team can maximize performance without these three elements, the right mix is crucial. Successful work teams have people to fill all key roles and select these people according to their skills and preferences. Managers can promote effective teamwork by matching individual preferences with team role demands. Effective teams have a common and meaningful purpose that provides people with direction, momentum, and commitment. Successful teams can translate their common purpose into specific, measurable, realistic performance goals. Some people will coast on the group's effort because their individual contributions can't be identified. They feel that they won't be singled out. Effective teams minimize the social loafing by demanding accountability to the team's purpose, goals, and approach at both the team and individual level. To promote individual and joint accountability from team members, traditional appraisal and reward systems have to be rethought. One of the best teams of all time, I think, is from The Wizard of Oz. Just think about this scenario. Dorothy's in a strange and unfamiliar world where just using common sense doesn't work. Does this sound like your workplace? What lessons do we learn from her journey? Well, she tries to build a team along her way. Her first partner is the Scarecrow. They are undeterred in their goal to meet the wizard. The Tin Man is the next member to join them. They are immediately cooperative and helpful to each other to fight the witch. They're very diverse with unique issues to deal with. Dorothy is the adolescent from Kansas. Scor the scarecrow has low self-esteem. The tin man is in need of oil. And the lion is in need of courage. You can't find a more diver diverse group in any workplace, and yet they're linked by a common goal. They're trusting, honest, and open with each other and mutually supportive. They face a series of difficult encounters, but adversity only strengthens their bond as a team. It's when the team faces the hardest challenges that they become the most cohesive. They use planning and creativity to get the witch's broom for the wizard. But what happens to Dorothy? Do you remember when she gets captured? Her team is then leaderless, but she has empowered them all, so they persevere and defeat the witch. The broomstick is their symbolic trophy of success. The wizard uses smoke and mirrors, but he's a good man at heart, and he uses ingenuity to help them fulfill their needs. Symbolic gestures of recognition. Do you remember all these at the end? The scarecrow gets his PhD, the lion gets a medal for courage, and the tin man gets a clock to tick as his heart. While you can probably think of many other keys to effective teamwork, here are seven, and think about how you think they apply to the Wizard of Oz. Teams have a clearly stated objective. Small successes reinforce the commitment of team members. Diverse objectives must be linked by a common purpose. Teams have to have a common goal that benefits all the members. Successful teams are mutually supportive. Adversity strengthens the bonds of the team and leaders must recognize a team's real and symbolic needs. 